Matthias Jordan with uh, Clown County PUD. Um, we're back again with our little videos. We've uh, been sending out these advanced power strip to many of our customers. About 9,000 of you got these. And we just thought we'd put together this video to sh help show you how to install it correctly. Because uh, some few of you had some issues, we just thought we'd just help out a little bit to make it absolutely clear how it works. So, when you open up this box here, you already have one taken out here. You will find in that package a uh, the power strip which we have here already set up. Uh, you will find a little instructional manual that I suggest you read, even though you watch this video. They probably go well together, as well as this uh, little infrared sensor here. And this here really is the key to make this work properly. So now I'm going to show you a little closely how to install this uh, infrared sensor on the plug. Advanced power strip. So this strip here on one end it has a little plug which looks just like the old phone plugs that we used to use. And then of course the sensor which has underneath double sticky tape. The idea is that you, uh, well first of course you uncoil this but you peel this long sticky tape and place this somewhere you know, pointing towards the couch where you will be sitting um, so that the sensor can pick you up uh, using your, your remote control. You plug it into this little outlet right here, labeled sensor. And uh, if you look closely on the strip here, the advanced power strip, it's plugged into the wall so the surge suppressor is operating and the plug is grounded, but it's not currently switched. Uh, meaning that it's not turned on. And that will take place as soon as you use your remote control and you turn on the switch comes on and now the power strip is on and fully operational and if you actually want to turn your TV on now you have to push the power button the second time pointing towards the TV um, because the first time you pushed the button the power strip wasn't turned on. Then to plug it in you, it's clearly labeled on the plug what you should plug in where and the most important thing is to look for the TV plug which is also underlined with the switched outlet here we have it plugged into TV and just for illustration I'm going to plug it in here. Then the way it laid out there's two great plugs. These are not switched or rather they're always on. So even if the power strip is turned on these will always be on. In there you play, plug in your cable box or your DVR player because of course neither one of those you would ever want them to turn on because the uh, cable box would need to be reprogrammed. The DVR could shut off in the middle of the game that you're recording, um, so those are never turned off. But these other green plugs here, these are the ones that are really controlled by this uh, advanced power switch. If it's not turned on, then these outlets will be turned off. Um, and you, it's, you have indications here to suggest putting the game, uh, gaming console, the amplifier, a DVD player or subwoofer in here, but really you can plug in anything you want that you don't need to have always on and those plugs will be turned on as soon as you turn on your television. And uh, it's as simple as that to, for you to start saving it. So, thanks again for watching this little video. Um, I hope it helped. If you still have any questions or want to find anything else about all the many things that Clown County PD does, visit our web website and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this. If you